I'm working on a little different style uh, craft today. I took some uh, cedar and cut this silhouette out with the cameo. Next month is the uh, rodeo and I want a few western style crafts done to put in there for that. So I have this and I have one other project that I've done and I have several others. I don't know if I'll get to those, but these two definitely. So I'll show you this one after I get the black paint on it and have it filled in. And then I'll figure out what I'm going to do from there. I'm going to have to figure out a way to hang it. But I'll see what I can come up with. All right, here's what I've done so far is I've done the, I've put the black for the silhouette and I've got a glare from my lights, but I can't help it. That's how that turned out. And I did put a coat of polyacrylic on it. And then when my husband gets on, gets home later this evening, uh, I know we have some old barbed wire laying out in the field by the fence that he had to take down. And we'll go out there and cut some off and see if I can come up with some kind of a hanger. Barbed wire is kind of hard to work with because it's pretty sturdy. So I might take you along for a little ride to do that, but we'll see. Well, we went out in the field and we got some barbed wire and I did shoot some video, but it was so noisy with wind that I couldn't post it. So anyways, here's a quick shot of him getting me my barbed wire. Okay, we went out to the uh, field and got the barbed wire and made little loops on each end of the barbed wire and we cut the barbed wire off using this tool here, you know, and then I put the little hooks on here. Then from there, I'll just hook it on each end. And I'll have to go hang it up to show you what it actually looks like. So I'll be right back. Okay, here it is finished and hung up. I just hung it up here on this, uh, this is my husband's wall. And I hung it up here for right now so you could see what it looked like. I think it turned out pretty nice. It's not everybody's decor, but it, some people do have this. Okay, now I'm going to show you one more project. Okay, I already have this made, but I wanted to share this. It's a real easy craft if you have some horseshoes. And I do have this. Let's see which one. I have this one hanging in my hallway, the entry hallway on a little pegboard. And I've done it. All you do is you start down here and you wrap your uh, jute around till you get up here and then you kind of angle the very end of it up this way to where you know they, it does that and I hot glued it and then I got out my uh, all my I'm about out of flowers but you can see I've made burlap flowers and I do have a video I think I posted it uh, it's an old video I made and I moved over to my uh, craft channel and on how to make the burlap flowers. I mean, I don't use them as much as I used to, but there are pro projects I still use them on and I still make them occasionally. I need to make some more and have this ready. I always just go to this drawer and grab out my flowers. But anyways, I just use the burlap flowers and the... Uh, the jute, different jutes, and this is the one I finished the other day. Looks about the same way, and I'll be taking this over to the mercantile, but I did want to show it to you. I'll show you where I have mine hanging now. 
Okay, this is kind of hard to show too. This is two stars. Since we had the, uh, I had the barbed wire and the cutter, decided to go ahead and make a couple of stars. And this star, he took, cut off a long piece and he bent this into shape. I couldn't do that. I did go in and wire it's where it'd be sturdy on each intersection part. And that's how that turned out. I'll decorate them both. But, and then on this one, I had him just cut me uh, 12 inch lengths and then kind of straighten it out. And then I put it on a silicone mat. I laid it down and shaped it. And then I took this blue right here. It's been well used. <laughs> I put my star down on a silicone mat and I glued each place here. Now I'm gonna take it and I don't know whether I'm gonna wrap these in each, you know, in wire, because it could come undone, I don't think so, but just to make sure I'm gonna wrap it in wire or maybe some jute, I don't know, and then I'm gonna decorate them. So I'm gonna take them into my craft room and figure out what I'm gonna do with them. Okay, this is all I done to the stars. I just decided to leave them plain. I did wrap the tips on this one and just put the jute hanger on it. And that was the one that I put together in the pieces. I used five different pieces, 12 inches long, and glued them together. And now I put the jute wrapping on them with a, the hanger. And then on this one, I just put the hanger on it. And what I have in mind <clears throat> is I'm gonna leave them plain like this. And if they don't happen to sell, then through the Christmas season, I'll go in and get them and I'll bring them back and I'll decorate them with uh, some berries or something Christmas-like. So we'll see how that works, but I just, with me taking it in for like the rodeo, I didn't think a guy would want, not that the guys would be shopping. I don't know. Anyways, I decided to leave them plain. And if they don't sell, then go back in and I'll decorate them up for Christmas, which is, gonna be, I think they'd be really cute. But I wanna come back and show you what I did with the stars. So until the next video, we'll see you later.